Hey, how's it going, guys? It's your buddy Civil, and I'm here again today. And quickly before we start this video, I want to go ahead and announce our first ever giveaway. I'm not going to go into too much detail about it. Just make sure you're subscribed and you've joined our Discord because we will announce the details soon. Uh, but yeah, let's just get right into this video. All right, guys, now that we got that out of the way, uh, we are doing a base tour, if you couldn't tell by the uh, thumbnail and title of the video. Um, this is Aaron Arcane Bolt. We, we can't we st we can't pronounce the name. We're just going to throw it up on the no, screen. No, I'd burn I'd burn a spell slot saying that's the right pronunciation. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it sounds pretty <laughs> badass. But anyways, uh, yeah. Um, as you can see, it's a very big world. Uh, but for purposes of recording this video in a steady uh smooth frames per second we went ahead and destroyed like half of the building so we're gonna do a three-part video on this base because you know we want to show off everything and it's looking like we're gonna have to do it uh like one or two buildings at a time because if we did it with everything loaded in it, it would literally just be a slideshow for you guys uh but yeah you got anything to add to that man sure so a couple quick details about the world this is currently on day 963 it is all in survival mode and i am pretty sure that mod api was never used mainly because there's nothing weird in the inventory like sometimes you'll have 10,000 aloe vera seeds or something like that but everything looks to be legitimate other than that the character is also on day 660 survived so about 300 days ago something happened to him pretty sure there's a story there i didn't ask Anyway, let's just get into it. Alright, so over here to the right-hand side of the church, we have the graveyard. Just outside of it, we have his little uh, log collection area, although that technically has nothing to do with that. I just wanted to show you all the log carts, because it's pretty great. Alright, heading into the graveyard, as you can see, we have a whole bunch of different types of burial mounds. It's actually pretty great. They all have their own unique headstones. As you can see, we have crosses. That one's a legitimate T. <laughs> <laughs> this one's just a straight line. This one has nothing on it. But just all the different burial plots, like, just mixed together like this, it really makes it look great. It makes it look, you know, lived in, used. It, I don't know. It's weird. He also has a couple of... Uh, Pretty interesting looking. God, what would these be called? Uh, starts with the a name. C, I think. What are, what are they called? Crypt. Crypt, there yeah. Yeah, there's also a few of these little crypts. Like, there's a couple over here. Looks like the roof's caved in. I don't know. It's nice. It's just overall really, really awesome. And then on top of that, you have, you know, the nice gate that just completely encompasses all of it. Mm hmm. And it's, you know, boosted up with this little uh, foundation to help protect it. I don't know. It's pretty great. And I've been gushing this whole time. Sivo, do you want to add anything? To Sivo? Uh, you uh, you kind of cut off. I thought you stuttered. Uh, no. I said, do you want to add anything? And then you just kind of started power walking at me like... <laughs> Fucking T nine thousand. Your opinions, give them to me. Yeah, um, I mean, one thing I gotta say is it it really outdoes our graveyard back when we did our old church, uh, which was like what our little western town. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, there's nothing compared to <laughs> that one because that one was just like kind of mediocre compared to this one but uh yeah let's go ahead and check out the uh inside and, of the and one thing i forgot to mention i love this thing right here there are actually a number of these little cutouts and just uh you know places of detail added along the outside of the walls that just make it look amazing yeah it just it, it like, really adds definition to the building mm -hmm. i really do like, like, see, like there's that. like a barred window up there made out of stone and like in order to accent it, he used some uh, stone walls. I didn't even it's notice amazing. that. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, actually like, pretty cool. The longer I stare at, the more stuff I see. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. 
Anyway, yeah, let's uh, take a look inside. All right, guys. So walking in the front door, you could just right off the bat just just see that this place is ginormous. Uh, for the bottom floor, we've got, you know, of course, the seating area. This is where you would sit and listen to uh, the person up here who's speaking Sermon. the word of the Lord. Uh, and he even has a cross. Like, wow. Like, I've seen plenty of crosses made in the forest. He did it with stone. I don't know how he did it, but it's, like, perfectly straight, and it looks amazing. There's a katana down here with blood on it, but uh, that's none of my business. <laughs> but he literally took the confession booth that we did in our uh, <laughs> church. We're not going to say that he, he took it from us because, you know, who knows. But it, it is literally a confession booth. You know, you got the person sitting in that side, you know, you sit on this side, you know, Father, forgive me, I have sinned, uh, you know, one on each side. Um, yeah, it, it looks amazing. Um, we've also got a couple back doors over here. This just leads to, uh, you know, a couple of shelves, some chairs, and this is the uh, exit in the back, I guess. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna head over to Om um for the upstairs view. Yeah, so here we are upstairs. As you can see, this is supposed to be like the stained glass window, but it's just a bunch of uh, bone fences. But I gotta say, it actually looks really cool. Um, you might be wondering how I got up here, and as Siva will show you, some of this decoration is actually built in staircases. So this is something that we don't get to see often, but uh, I'm actually really excited whenever we do see it, just like functionality, you know, just built in. So yes, it makes it look nice, but it's also a built in staircase, just like this. And then heading up this staircase, you enter the catwalk. And from the catwalk, we'll be able to go up onto the roof. And here we are on the roof of the church. And I got to say, it's really awesome. There's a way to get up here into the bell tower. Let me just go ahead and pop on up. However, there's currently nothing up here besides uh, it's more of a defensive post for survival mode. So you got arrows and a couple of uh, fires to keep yourself warm. But... We also have a little room down here, and I really shouldn't do that because I am in survival mode, and I will die. And we have... I honestly don't know what this is. <laughs> uh, we've got a picture yeah, of I think a it's red right door. Um, we got some holy yeah, water. We got a chair. I, I think this is where the uh, father comes to uh, speak to God. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. I don't know. Maybe he uh, summons the spirits through this fire. Or these fires. I don't know. There's a lot of fires in here. It's a hard kitten. It. Yeah. Just put on your cloak and... You're ready to speak to the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've also got a Bible. This, this is my Bible survival. <laughs> yeah. The survival Bible. <laughs> survival Bible, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alright guys, so this part I saved for last because I had to go into third person to get a good panning shot. But as you can see up here, we've got like armored uh, skeleton, not skeletons. Uh, what are those things called? Tarkata Warriors. Tarkata Warriors, sure, yeah. <laughs> but it, it just it shows the uh, level of detail he went into when... You know, building the outside of this place. You've got this little area over here with uh, skull lanterns to light the front. And it just looks amazing. Like, the amount of detail this guy went into. And, you know, for, what, 900-something days? This is something that you would expect. 963. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, there's a lot of detail in every build in this world. Uh, I gotta say, Aaron, I'm completely blown away. I know you uh, You told me about it. You said there's only five builds. I didn't believe it, but everything is as detailed as this church. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. 
Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, like the video if you liked it. Get subscribed if you want to see the rest of this world. And leave a comment down there if you have anything to say about this build because it was awesome. Um, I'm not too sure if there's going to be a link for this particular world in the description. Mainly because you have to run it in 32-bit mode and it's kind of a pain. But if there's a big enough demand, you know, I'll go ahead and put it up there. Anyway, that's going to do it for today, guys. I'm tired. I'll catch you next time. Peace out. All right. Uh, for, forgive me, Father, for I've sinned. What are you, like a fucking goddamn peasant? Come on, man, I'm giving you Oscar <laughs> gold here. <laughs> no, okay, so this is, this is, why the fuck did the door lock? Did you just lock yourself in? <laughs> Do I lock myself in? <laughs>